when you're bisexual, you, society makes you feel like you have to choose, which is not how that works. You get frustrated by seeing the same portrayals, but that's just me. I don't think it is just you. <laughs> it is not just you. And that tells us that's what we get in yeah, life. That's what's terrible. to expect. Our futures that were told to us in books, in plays, in, in television, in film, they all had tragic endings. We know this. We hear this over and over and over and over again. And now we're at this wonderful opportunity where we don't have to just take what we can get. We can create our own content. But I think it's very important for us to identify what this has done to our society. Because we limit ourselves. My only knowledge about my own sexuality from was fetish fetishization and and boys trying to get me drunk at parties so I'd make out with another girl and that sucks. Being a teenager still kind of trying to figure things out myself, it just, it it helped to see her and see what her and, um, and Spencer went through and it just, it was very comforting. I kind of had this vague idea of how I felt but I never had the words to describe it and then hearing her like say those words to somebody else and have it be normal it was like super groundbreaking for me. I'm from a small village in England like stuff like that we just don't get told about and looking back at my life going oh, okay I really identify with that like that's showing me who I am as a person. I didn't know who I truly was until I watched that show. It's hard when like you're on the front lines of something that you didn't ask to be a soldier for, <laughs> but you are by virtue of being who you are. That's rough. That's, and that's also an experience that a lot of people can relate to even if they're outside of the queer community.